Welcome to Electron Online. Here we have to combine these three radicals. Now again, we can only do that if the quantity underneath the radical is exactly the same. And of course, in this case, that's not true. So can we simplify it to the point where we can combine the radicals? Let's see here. Let's rewrite it like this first. This can be written as the square root of 3 squared times x squared times x. So what I've done here is I've written 9 as the square of 3 and x cube is x squared times x. Remember, anything underneath the square root can be taken out if it's squared. In other words, the square root of 3 squared is 3, and the square root of x squared is simply x. Here we can write this as minus the square root of 5 squared times x squared times x, plus the square root of 4 squared times x squared times x. Now we can take whatever is squared outside the radical, so this is equal to 3 times x times the square root of x minus 5 times x times the square root of x plus 4 times x times the square root of x. Again, whenever you have the square root of something squared, you simply take it outside the radical. Now you can see that each radical is exactly the same as the square root of x. We can simply combine them now. We have 3x minus 5x plus 4x. 3 plus 4 is 7, minus 5 is 2, so this can be written as 2x times the square root of x, and that's the final simplified form of our original expression. And that's how it's done.